What a putrid offering. already been written. But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. Too long since I've slept in a bed. I used to be an avid reader. I have business here to attend to. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top notch cases. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. 
But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Its strange beauty isn't enough to hide the feeling of dread it carries. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these... elements? Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Darkwater. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there.
So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Hey, Sullivan, the same goes for you, sir. Move along. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to. Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something wrong. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Pure instinct. I behaved like a Hun. And I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? 307th Infantry Regiment. Oh. Well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. I'm try not to forget it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. 
There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her vision, was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah, well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. I've got what I need. Anything else? The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland, then... I've got what I need. Anything else? That'll be all for now. The miraculous catch. Apparently... The most significant event of the last 80 years. You have no right to treat us like this. All strong the beer. Beer. Do you like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. <laughs> exactly. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. I saw the newspaper clipping. You don't believe it, do you? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Huh. Where's the proof? We're the proof! Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. 
everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. I had to wing of the journey, boy. What you looking at, stranger? I'm just passing by, sorry. Let me drink, stranger. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations. Gifted with its own consciousness. Until it finds a new reader. Cold. She won't stop asking. Not that again. She even did us some trouble. This isn't your home, you bunch of sad craps. We go where we want. There's nothing hey, for you here you either. Beat You're tats. already in trouble. Come on, can we sort this out? You can There's see. There's nothing for you here either. There's nothing to Beat sort tats. out. Your chum wanted to stir us up. <laughs> so you can stay. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. The Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. Fishing equipment. Huh. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. But that's all I'll get from them. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. What a macabre souvenir. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights at the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you.
I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. But she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. I was looking at your photograph one of the men in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sail. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth, and that shelter creatures unlike any other. You're talking about mythology. Ha! <laughs> Indeed, you're right. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. There was no business. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new.
You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, nose around too much, you'll have dealings with her. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. You want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. I shall take my leave. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. I could use this old winch to lift the grating, but it's been completely taken to bits. There must be some spare parts amid all this clutter. Whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. A ratchet device. Exactly what I need. This handle will be perfect for the winch. It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Looks like everything is in its place. All that's left is to try to turn this handle. Well, well. A little mouse has got lost on our turf. You're not only inquisitive, 
you're also stupid. What gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? Has the cat got your tongue? You've come for a fight. What I've got to say won't change a thing. You're a quick learner. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. Is your name Cat? What of it? Maybe we can come to an understanding. Maybe. Or maybe not. Get this Joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. Oh, I'm getting careless. I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to deal with her. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I've never heard of this saint. Is it a local belief? But everyone knows St. Brendan, the navigator. He's the patron saint of whales and whalers. What happened to the statue? Go see for yourself. He's at the end of the jetty. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. Saint Brendan. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. Peculiar house. Yeah, that's where we live. Our boat. It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. Isn't it a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. There's not much work around here. Fitzroy gives us a few chores every now and again, but since the whaling station shut down, ain't a lot of jobs left around here. So we drink. The two guys behind you. The bootleggers? Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later.
That's no way to treat an alpha. What could have done so much damage? You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Hmm. Damnation, I broke it. It's no use. The padlock won't give. out I'll have serious problems with you know who I bet that you hit them so how could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded keep your voice down why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat it's a stiletto you idiot and with that smell on your breath I don't give you much chance anyway Where do you think you're going? I thought that the Hawkins case had been closed. That's true. So what are you doing on guard duty in front of this warehouse? <laughs> Who's asking the questions here, the cop or the tourist? Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? What's the difference between a police officer and a private detective? The badge? Exactly. Apart from that piece of metal, there's nothing that sets us apart. You think so? We're looking for the same thing, you and I. Okay, okay, spare me the next verse. I'll tell you what I know. There are sailors who think that there's a beast prowling around the docks. And then again, these guys panic at the thought of bringing a rabbit onto a boat, so... I see. And there are others who would like to use the warehouses for their goods. That's fine. Get it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way. 